I'm gonna love you What's going on everybody? My name is Wolver Guy. Welcome back to another edition of the Friday Weekly Update. Um, so, they did have a delay on solo battles due to the shooting that happened at the Madden Tournament last week. I'm going to put up the screenshot of that real quick. Um, this is pretty much the mes message we saw um, pretty much for two to three days. So, with that being said, uh, I'm going to show you guys real quick. So, uh, show that real quick, John. Okay, so you guys saw it, so they did prolong uh, or delay solo battles in this case, but we're going to go into objectives first off. Um, obviously, uh, if you guys don't know, Gatorade stuff dropped last weekend, or actually last Friday, and if you guys get uh, most of them done, you do get an additional five Gatorade collectibles, but I don't think I'm going to get that set none because I got to do like basically three more, but if you do daily objectives... Um, it goes from 1 to 3 to 5 to 7 to 9 if you get 9 obviously uh, I'm working on doing that so I got 1, 2, 3, 3 more collectibles waiting for me so uh, I like that right there but um, that's it for the Gatorade stuff nothing else has changed I'm right around the corner from this uh, win 500 12 away 12 challenges away from getting 50k which is going to be really nice we're going to move on to the solo challenges next Nothing is new in the solo challenges other than if you guys haven't done the Gatorade challenges. That's pretty much it. Also, they did reset um, the weekly stuff to get 75 training. I can't wait till I get to 50 because um, that if that's going to be every week, 100 training points is going to really stack up. I really don't know what I'm going to do with that 50k either. I don't know if I want to uh, save that and just keep buying uh, Gatorade cards and turn them into trophies. For or, uh, collectibles for my JJ Watt, or if I want to get um, one of the more expensive uh, chemistries and uh, use that throughout my whole lineup because um, it's the one with the meter. I can't remember what it's called, but it's pretty pricey. But it um, it really helps out. Uh, I'll talk about that later. But they haven't really changed anything with any of the challenges. Nothing new this week. So also solo battles is up obviously. So they restart or they started it Wednesday pretty much canceled out the first round the four games um, so that kind of sucks to, that you can't get your battle score as high as you could as you can because mine would be probably a little bit higher than 67 right now but um, these are my opponents for this week um, I looked through their lineups they got decent teams but I think I can play all these three on professional and I'm gonna play that when I'm rookie because his team if I play it on pro I'm gonna get my ass kicked so, I'm going to get the silver, guys, and as silver, you don't really get too much other than a bigger quick sell. You get uh, 15k, three trophies, and two Halo Mary packs. I have not been able to pull a single fucking gold player from a Hail Mary pack, and it's getting really irritating, EA. Come on, help me out here, please. So, uh, I'm going to try and get the silver. I'm only, like... 20k LA. As you guys can see, I'm less than 20k. I can get that done with these four uh, right there. So I'm gonna work on that. Um, but if I get those three trophies, I can do the Gatorade set twice, and and I'll be able to get two more collectibles instead of one. Now um, they put more of uh, I don't know what these cards are, but they added Derek Carr and Everson Griffin. Um, this week so you can get those in limited time packs uh, I have not been able to pull any of those so that's uh, the shitty thing so for the exchange um, either a you can do you can go into the store and go buy a random Gatorade player and put it in, in the set and you're gonna be spending 13 to 15k per card which is not bad it's pricey but it's not bad and um, you put your series trophies in the here and then you get a collectible so I need to come up with 17 of those. I'm going to get a couple from the objectives. Um, but uh, where mine are going to be pretty much coming from is spending my money 
and getting players and trophies and getting that 88. Now, I'm not really going to worry about the 90 too much because the 90 is 35, the 92, you almost need like 70 uh, of collectibles for that. So, I'm going to um, get him to an 88 and compare him. Pretty much, I got a clue, Mac, um, before I got this card to where it's at. And um, JJ Watt's better at everything else other than speed and acceleration. Um, so, I have him in my... Um, Rush left end, rush defensive, <clears throat> defensive tackle, and rush right end in the nickel package. So with him and Khalil Mack there, um, just just great, a great duo right there. So that's why I'm using them instead of be like, well, I'm not going to use them at all. But that's the reason why I'm going to use him because I didn't really have anyone better, and I'm like, you know, I'll just put him there and uh, say screw it. So let's see if I can. I don't know if do I have enough gold to get me self. Uh, okay, I don't even have enough. So, let's go to low, the high gold, or low, yeah, low gold, the high gold, and uh, see what we can get from this set. Um, we'll just say screw it and keep the rookies for now. Alright. See if I can get anything um, known for. Alright, we're not going to get anyone that's too, uh, too popular there. So... That will be my set for today. So now I just have to win my two games, and then I just have to do those uh, daily objectives every day for uh, before the end of the, f I think the fifth, I think is um, and that next Friday, I believe. Somewhere we're in there, I, I have no idea. But that'll do it for the set. So we're gonna go with my lineup now. I have revived the Jerry Rice I have. I have gotten him to an 84. I'm um, using Colt Cruz as a backup. Um, got Lorenzo O'Neal or Lorenzo Neal to an 84. I got Steve Young to an 86. Um, I don't know if I did this in the last video. I got uh, Willie Rove to an 84. Got um, Daryl Williams. That 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 w this Williams card isn't new. A new addition to the team. It's just it, it's there. So um, also nothing too crazy. Defense or the tight end same thing. So. On defense, nothing has changed too much. I've got my Demarcus Ware to an 85, and I got Anthony Barr to an 85. This card is really, really good, guys. So um, it's a little pricey because it's super good, but I suggest getting it. Also, um, it was a bitch to get his core elite card, so luckily I had a pass. I had a power-up pass, and boom, got him to an 85. Um, nothing else has really changed. Got this Khalil Mack to an 84 with the backup of J.J. Watt. And um, that's about it for the corners, too. But I'm going to show you um, the comparison between both of these cards right now. So, um, pretty much what Khalil Mack has over him is just speed and acceleration. And uh, J.J. Watt's got pretty much plus one or more in every um, category. The acceleration isn't bad for J.J. Watt. I would just like to have it to um, at least a 72 or 73 speed. That's just kind of it's kind of bad for an 86 left end. Um, but that's pretty much it. The speed is um, the only thing that J.J. Watt doesn't have. So that's why this Khalil Mack card, I have it there for speed reasons because you obviously you want speed with your rushers right so that's why um, I changed my third down back to Joe Mixon only because this is the second best card that has the most speed um, I thought Christian McCaffrey is pretty good but the strength compared to Joe Mixon to him um, is not as good plus Joe Mixon's got a little bit more speed as well and that's an 80 card it's only a 73 on uh, third down but it's I'm gonna do that and see if I like it and then I'll change it back if I don't um, but that's about it for the offense. For defense, I got pretty much JJ Watt as the, like I said, rush left out, uh, rush left end, defensive tackle, and rush right end right there. So um, pretty good, anyways. If I if I run nickel and I do. So other than that, that is pretty much my lineup. And I'm going to talk about that um, that chemistry I was talking about. So to get that chemistry, you do need a thousand training which is uh, pretty brutal in my opinion. So I think I can put this on the Steve Young right now. Um, so it goes under the physical ability and it's called Sprinter. And in this case, it would really help out the rest of my team, including JJ Watt. Uh, it requires 10 players, which I obviously, once you get it, 
that's it. You know, you do, it's a one-time purchase. So you get a thousand. Um, so ten players, it gives you plus one speed. Twenty is um, plus one in acceleration, so you get plus one in speed and excel. And then plus three, you get another one in speed. So um, it's not huge, but it's a it's you know it's just a speed boost, and speed really goes a long way. Um, acceleration, not too much, but speed does. So um, I really, and it's the same thing with the shaker as well. You get a, uh, you get agility, acceleration, and another acceleration. But in my case, in my opinion, speed's better than acceleration because acceleration is only for a short time. Speed is obviously your top speed, so you're uh, faster overall instead of for a short time. Um, Leaper, you get strength, jump, um, that you can work with that acrobatic, you could get agility, jump, so, and then the brawler gets strength and speed, and, uh, that's the second best one in my opinion. Um, well, honestly, these top three right here are, so, um, in my opinion, where they shape up is number one, uh, sprinter, number two, shaker, and number three is brawler. Now, if you guys don't really care about speed too much and you want more strength, then there you go. I mean, it's it, it seems like it's pretty worth it, so that's why that's that expensive. So maybe when I get my 50k, I'll try and sell enough cards or buy enough cards and then sell them for points that I can do that. I really don't know because a thousand. It's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while. Unless you can get a bunch of gold cards and just sell them that way, I I really don't know. But. I kind of want to get that, but I don't, I don't know, maybe I'm just probably going to save my training points, because I really don't know what I'm going to upgrade next. I was thinking of doing my Sean Taylor next, because I really want to get a better free safety. I'm not saying Glover Quinn isn't good, because he is, um, just because Sean Taylor right now has better speed than um, Glover Quinn, I'll show you guys. So he's got better speed, excel, um, tackling's better. <clears throat> the play recognition and pursues bear, but the thing is his zone coverage is worse and man coverage is worse than Glover Quinn and what does everyone look in the safety you look for? Coverage so um, and this is in this case the speed isn't terrible because Glover Quinn isn't slow But he's got better um, at Just Coverage he's got better zone coverage and man coverage regardless right there, but for me to do this 84, I think I'm going to have to get this to um, at least an 88. Um, and I think to get to the 91, you have to have the item, obviously. But for me to do that, I'm going to have to come up with, like, probably 700, 800 points right there. So I really don't know. And, you know, we're going to have to get um, better coverage as of... Okay, so you have 81 and 74. So in this case, we're going to go to upgrade... And we'll go and say, we're going to look at his zone coverage. So 81 and man coverage, uh, 71. So in this case, you really, 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 really don't play man coverage with free safety. Unless you're doing a safety blitz. That's the only other time, really. Because even in every other coverage, they're just in a, a deep blue in the back of the field. So, um, from, so this goes from, uh, what's it say? 68 to 79 so if I get this to an 86 it's a 71 81 but if I get in an 88 it goes to um, 73 to 84 so that's not bad the man coverage I really don't care about it too much but the zone coverage 84 right there that which is very 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 nice right there um, so basically 84 zone um, that's, I'm going to have to upgrade it twice to pretty much, um, dethrone Glover Quinn. So, that, I might just do that instead, because that's going to be cheaper than getting that sprinter chemistry and all that. And I, I don't know, I, I really just want Sean Taylor to be in the lineup, so I think that's going to be my next big thing right there. And I'm going to put all my training points into, I don't know, I really wanted to, I really want to get this J.J. Watt done too, so maybe I'll hold off on that, because, in my opinion... 
Um, my safety is good right now. I just need to uh, work on my uh, defensive line a little bit. But with that, all the rant ranting being done, that will do it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the day today's video. Uh, if you guys have any questions about Ultimate Team or whatever, I'm willing to help you guys out as much as I can. So let me know in the comments down below. Um, also, I have my Wolver Leftover video um, just uh, pretty much done. Um, I just have a few more touches to put on it, and then I'm going to put that out Monday because I have no scheduled videos for Monday as of right now. I might do um, a little, you know, story, or I might do a kind of a rant story about the shooting that happened last week. I kind of just wanted to wait because um, it's kind of a sensitive subject right now, and uh, I'm not. I'm, I was just going to say I've been kind of lazy too, so you know. I didn't get to it this week, and I had, to, uh, I had to finish The Last of Us and all that. So, that'll do it for the video for today, guys. Watch out for the Wolver Leftovers video on Monday. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the week. So, with that being said, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. hope you guys have a great Friday. hope you guys have a great weekend. On top of that, take care. See you later.